OpenAI, the maker of ChatGPT, has a new O1 model out that isn't just matching human performance, it's actually beating us. And if you're still just using ChatGPT to write blog posts, you're missing out on 90% of this tool's power. Now I've found nine surprising ways to use ChatGPT that are completely transforming how I run my business and not a single one involves blog posts. So make sure you stay until Minthed 9, it's a completely new approach to personal development that's helping business owners improve faster than ever before. So let's go ahead and dive in and start with the first one, email handling. This is a huge time saver that I use all the time. Using Zapier, I can connect my email account to ChatGPT and train it by giving it my best email responses. So now when a new email comes in, ChatGPT will automatically draft responses in my style, in my tone, and save them to my draft folder. And yes, my draft folder. While O1 might be beating humans at intelligent tests, it still thinks replying new phone who dis is to an angry client email is totally appropriate. So make sure double checking before sending. The key is feeding it about 20 of your best email responses, the ones where you took the time to write them perfectly. Ask it to analyze and mimic your style so that it can draft responses that sound just like you. This really helps solopreneurs or small teams look more professional with their communication while saving a lot of time. Now second, let's talk about turning scattered thoughts into action plan. When I'm thinking through rough ideas, I used to fill my phone with random voice memos, scribbled notes, and random thoughts. Or even worse, I'd call a team member and brainstorm at them. Now, I can just talk naturally with ChatGPT voice while I'm walking around my office or driving. And here's where we can make those voice chats even more powerful in this next method. After this brain dump, ChatGPT doesn't just transcribe. It's going to organize everything into immediate actions, short-term projects, and long-term ideas. It flags urgent items that I might have missed. It spots patterns and identifies dependencies between these different items. It's like having a project manager who's better at pattern recognition than you are. Now last month, I dumped three weeks worth of random notes about a new service offering. ChatGPT organized it into a launch plan, spotted five dependencies I hadn't considered, and suggested starting with a small test group first, something that wasn't explicitly in my notes, but made perfect sense when it connected the dots. Plus, as I said, my employees really appreciate that I don't brainstorm out loud at them anymore. So here's the prompt for organizing all of your thoughts. I'm gonna show it on screen. Go ahead and pause the video, and make note of this prompt so you can use it yourself. Fourth, sales conversation role play using ChatGPT's voice feature. This one is a game changer for practicing tough sales calls. All you need to do is tell ChatGPT to act as a skeptical prospect who's been burned by SEO before or whatever your service offering is. Have it challenge your proposals, push back on pricing and question your methods. The voice feature makes this feel like a real sales call instead of typing back and forth. You can practice different scenarios until you're confident in handling any objection. And because it's voice chat, you're practicing exactly how you'll speak in real sales calls. Plus, you can even ask ChatGPT to give you feedback on your responses and suggest ways to improve your pitch. This really helps build confidence for a phone salesperson without a team to practice with. Now fifth, is market research. Give ChatGPT your customer reviews, social comments, and competitor feedback. It can analyze language patterns to show you exactly how customers describe their problems and what solutions they're actually looking for, not what we think they want. Now last month, we found our clients were describing their problems totally different than we expected. After updating our messaging to match their actual words, we saw an immediate boost in responses. ChatGPT spotted patterns in the data that we had completely missed. This really helps level the playing field between small teams and large competitors who have the resources to carry out market research. ChatGPT can do it just as well as Teams. Now sixth, AI chat box integration for your website. But here's what can make this even more powerful. You can train it on your specific business documentation, FAQs and processes. And that way your visitors will get instant accurate answers customized to their situation. This allows a local business to have a working chat feature on their website without having to answer the queries themselves at all hours of the night. Now seven, meeting planning and goals. Let me show you something that saved my team probably hundreds 
hundreds of hours. I give ChatGPT the meeting purpose, the current situation, the desired outcomes, and who's supposed to attend. Now, nine times out of 10, it comes back and says, this could be handled with a well-structured group email. And it's right. The real value, it can then draft that email, breaking down what each person needs to know and what they need to do. What would have been a 30-minute meeting with five people, that's two and a half hours of total work time, gets handled in a five-minute email. Everyone gets the information they need, they can respond on their own time, and we have it all in writing. No more meetings, that could have been emailed. Even solopreneurs can use this to help organize client or contractor interactions. Again, I'll go ahead and show you the prompt that I use for this on screen. Now our eighth method is meal planning. And before you ask what this has to do with business, hear me out. As business owners, we often sacrifice our health for work. We grab whatever's fastest or skip meals entirely. But here's how I use ChatGPT to fix this and save me a massive amount of time while allowing me to prepare healthy meals. I give it a list of all of my favorite foods, my dietary needs, my macro targets, and my time limits. I only give it 30 minutes max for dinner prep. Now, when I'm grocery shopping, I can just tell it what protein I have in mind and what type of cuisine I'm craving, like chicken Italian. And it gives me 20 different meal ideas that fit all my requirements. No more staring at the refrigerator wondering what to make. No more unhealthy takeout because I can't think of what to cook. Now nine, this is my favorite. It's going to create your personal business avatar using real data about you instead of guesswork. Feed it your calendar, some recent major purchases, your browser history, I know that might seem scary, and times you felt frustrated or successful. It's going to spot patterns you never noticed yourself. Here's the prompt that I've used exactly for that. So here's what happens when I actually tried this. I thought I knew exactly what I was doing, the direction I was going, and how I spent my time, but it turns out I was off a little bit. This avatar showed me with some voice chats and text chats that I was spending a lot of my day not doing productive work. I was doing things that were urgent instead of things that were important. So once I saw the data that it showed me, I was able to restructure my schedule and free up hours every week for the work that can actually move my business forward. This really helps me optimize limited resources among my team and helps me prioritize what I need to be focused on. Okay, the next step, learning how to make money with AI. If you want to see exactly how I generate monthly income using AI, perfect for beginners who want to turn their AI skills into profit, click here. I'm going to walk you through my entire process step by step.